you the craze, you the mad, you the bumble cigar. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Waka Waka Abby here. In today's video, it's going to be something different, but it's also something that is really important to me because I am Nigerian. So I'll be taking the Nigerian citizen test to see if I'm actually Nigerian. So the issue is that since I live here in the Philippines, I'm usually mistaken with being black American. And even the last time I went back home, I had like a lot of people asking me if I was actually Nigerian or not. So to put all of you guys at ease, either you Nigerian or you're Filipino or wherever you might be watching me from this is to show that I'm actually Nigerian we'll be taking this test right now and <laughs> guys wish me luck I'm also really excited about this because there's one thing I've always been proud of and that is being Nigerian so in this video you guys are going to be seeing that side of me now let's get down to the video so the first question is why will you have kids because they are cute. That's not Nigerian at all. To brag when you see your friends, yeah, probably. And to, <laughs> to pass the remote <laughs> and bring your slippers from your room. That's like probably something that um, a Nigerian parent will go for. There's also to love and to cherish them. If I'll definitely have kids, it would be to love and to cherish them. The next question, your mother is shouting, you. The first reply is, ask her why she's shouting. Keep quiet, look confused, shout back. You definitely don't want to shout back to a Nigerian mom. <laughs> yeah, ask her why she's shouting. It'll probably be something I would want to know why she's shouting. When you hear anything that sounds like gunshot, what do I do? Drop everything you're doing and run. Yeah, that's for sure. Shout Ole. <laughs> Ole is thief like <laughs> thief Barao. Yeah, call the police, ask what is happening. Of course, you don't ask what is happening, you freaking run. But the Nigerian response would probably be to shout ole, 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 but drop everything and run would probably be another response. So drop everything and run. You're driving and you see people at a pedestrian crossing. You stop and let them cross. That's not Nigerian at all. Speed up. Yeah. <laughs> Speed up would probably be one. Stop but aggressively press your own. Yeah, that is very, very, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Freaking walk fast. That's very Nigerian. Keep driving and insult will try to cross. That's also very Nigerian. And I would probably stop and let them cross, yeah. The next question is, you got an unexpected alert saying 150k has been paid into your account. So quickly go and withdraw the money. Why would you? <laughs> Who is sending the money? Go to church and testify about God's favor. Yeah. <laughs> Stop praying that EFCC doesn't come knocking on your door. Contact the bank to fix the issue. Yeah, I'll probably contact the bank or I will call up my friends or anyone that is supposed to send me money to actually find out. What will you eat today? Rice, of course. Is this a joke? Rice, probably. Rice, I guess. <laughs> this person is probably saying how much Nigerians love rice. Is this a joke? I'm not sure if I want to eat rice every day. Yeah, rice, I guess. Yeah. Your flight lands safely in Nigeria. You. I have actually seen flights where people were clapping. Like, at the end of the flight, people were actually clapping. Turn off your phone and start calling people. Yeah, that, I've seen that also, like, immediately. I don't land, though. I don't land for Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> Stand up and start taking your things before overhead cabin. Yes. That's very, very Nigerian. Like, insane. Sit back. Sit until fasten bed sign is switched off. I would always do that, but it's just fun to like see people doing it. So here it says you got hundred percent Nigerian. No one can deny your citizen. I beg you and your green passport are joined at the hip. Okay, that's the first part of the question. Or the second part. Of so this one, <laughs> this one it says only true Ajapakos can get nine. Over 13. Only through Ajapakos. I don't know how to interpret Ajapako for guys. I don't know what Ajapako means. So you have to be really, really like, you know, in depth. You have to have grown up in the ghetto or something like that for you to be able to get 9 out of 13. So for this one, you have to complete the insult. So this section is just Nigerian insult. So you met all the fishes in the river shout, leave this place. What's that smell? What's in with that? Are we safe? I think are we safe will probably be there. <laughs> yeah, are we safe? Yeah. Complete the insult. 
you the craze, you the mad, you the bambolo siga. <laughs> Yeah, the other options are Tambolo, Shakwe, Magi. This next one, two dash attack your village. Nobody escape. So the options are two monkeys, <laughs> two monkeys attack your village. Nobody escape. Two kuli kuli attack your village. Seriously, okay. So moi moi attack your village. Nobody escape. I think I'm look. I would look at the weird option here, which is probably kuli kuli, and choose the. I'm not sure what this is. I I've never heard of this before, but. I got it. For the next question, complete this request. Lick it, lick it, give me one, one finger. That's like what I used to say when I was a kid, but the options here are white finger, plenty money, Ribena long legs. I got that right. In this game, what comes after round one? So it's like a game that you play with our fingers like that. After round one, original Panado Extra. <laughs> I got that one. Yeah, for sure. I got that. Ah! <laughs> then the next one, what is this popular game called? Like I played this game a lot. So the options here, Tinko, I call on hop what is hopscotch? I beg you. Sue. <laughs> Sue for sure. And then this uh, there's a particular biscuit on the screen. It's called what is this biscuit called? <laughs> I'm not sure. T and T biscuit. This biscuit is, uh, um, is actually popular in Lagos. I mean there were times we had to go to Lagos where I grew up in Abuja but I, I remember like eating this in the boss. Paco biscuits for sure. That's it. There's not because it's really really strong. So <laughs> Paco for sure. I got it. What is this candy called? Econago one. Goody goody. Abadudu Sisi Palebe. People that wrote these questions they are Lagosians. So I'm thinking in between the goody goody or the babadudu. Yeah, I got it! Next question is How do you make this fella fella ball stronger? Ball that is deflated, how do you make it stronger? You boil it, you blow it, put it in a cello tape, rub it on the ground. Played football with my brother. Okay, maybe wrap it in cello tape. Oh, I got it wrong. This is the first one that I've actually gotten wrong. So, you boil it! Oh my god! What can you make with this? So, you have a broom, you have a polythene bag and you have a an eba so what can you make out of these three components so a kite you have a slingshot a tree question nothing a ball eba you put it in the this and you make it nice right but then with the broom you can also make a kite with it um, with the bag so i think i'll go for a kite yeah I got it. which bio brand do you need to make this oh my god this looks familiar big eleganza reynolds schneider Forget Schneider. I'm thinking Bic, B I C. Got it! This had many names. Which of these isn't one of them? Lolly, ice cream, condensed, juice. I got it right. In this section, I got 11 over 13. So I guess I'm an Ajapako. <laughs> so for the next one, only people who speak. Fluent Nigerian parents can get 10 over 13. Nigerian parents have a special way of communicating that made learning to speak their language essential to surviving under their roof. Now we want to test our fluent here. Try to de decipher what at least 10 Nigerian parentism means. So, what does this mean? My friend, you're my favorite child. You're annoying me. You're an adult. My friend, come here, Joe. <laughs> you're annoying me. <laughs> yeah, you're annoying me for sure. Got it. Go and bring me the dustbin. Let me some money. Read my mind. Where is the dustbin? I think where is the dustbin? That's what it means. Oh, read my mind. I got that wrong. If I hear, bam. <laughs> Why did you say you are lying? Shut up. Those are the options. So if I hear, bam, shut up. For sure. Got it. Let me hold the money for you. <laughs> Imagine a Nigerian parent telling you that I can save it for you. You can collect it later. It's mine now. It's theirs. Like, don't ever give a Nigerian parent your money to save for you. It's mine now, yeah. What does this mean? Put it on my head. So, figure out where to put it. Get me my crap. Leave this place. <laughs> uh, put it on my head. Put it on my head now. Come on, put it on my head. Figure out where to put it, I think. That's what it means. Yeah. 
what does this mean does she have to head this is like a situation where there's a girl in your class that got best results that that is the best in sports and the best in many things so imagine you coming back to a nigerian parent and telling your parents about that does she have a medical condition are uh, her parents still together why did she do better than you <laughs> got that right i don't have cash on me what does this mean so i don't want to give you money do you want my atm card instead let me get home first i don't want to give you money it means i don't have cash cash on me of course they have money but they just don't want to give you got that what does this mean go and wear your shoes i'll wait hurry up <laughs> this is a trick this is a go and wear your shoe i'll wait hurry up i'm leaving you at home so basically what they do is that they will tell you to go and wear your shoe while you're going to wear your shoes they will leave you at home yes i got it right what's up means how are you what's up do you want to test this new shirt how are you what's up what what is that what's up oh i mean i lost my mom six years ago so like we never got to like that level of communication what does this mean there is rice at home we are not stopping at any e tree that's what it means it means <laughs> there's food at home the rice will soon go back make some more stew it means there is food at home you're not eating out what does this mean i am strong i am strong now a nigerian parent will never tell you that they are sick so i am strong is a way of like putting it in a positive way and most of our parents are even are religious so i am strong means that i am sick i can do it alone i've been exercising more it means i am sick what does this mean we will soon go home <laughs> that's another trick question like, that's another trick so the options are give me five minutes start getting ready we'll be here for a few more hours that's more like it yeah what does this mean have you eaten oh, oh my god this will probably be the hardest question i'm gonna answer have you eaten means are you hungry no it doesn't mean you're hungry have you eaten means i am sorry it means i love you probably means i i'm sorry yeah that's nigerian parents will never apologize to their kids so their way of checking how you're doing is to check if you've eaten or not so i think i am sorry oh i got 10 out of 13 <laughs> oh my god okay you killed it your parents are fully nigerian and you really understand them so 10 out of 13 guys so this is the end of this vlog thank you guys for watching for those of you who, that have been wondering if i'm nigerian or not that's a proof right there um this is the end of the vlog if you're new to my channel my name is abby and this is waka waka don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys for watching and bye